A touch on the shoulder, the sign that this child is moments from becoming a killer. The young boy chosen to pull the trigger in Islamic State's latest murder video. The prisoner killed was just 19 years old himself. Mohammed Mosalem, an Arab citizen of Israel, accused by Islamic State of being an Israeli spy. In their East Jerusalem home, his family are reeling. His apparent confession dismissed entirely. His mother says that far from being a spy, their son was recruited by Islamic State here, and that her son had said as much in a phone call before he was imprisoned. He said they had promised to give him house, marriage and dollars. I said, why would you do that to yourself? He said that he had been brainwashed, but that it was all lies, that they were cheating everyone. There are Islamic State in Jerusalem. People should be careful with their kids. They are hidden. They are taking the boys. The family reported their son was missing from this neighborhood in October last year. When they inquired with police, they were told records showed he had traveled to Turkey. The Masalem family have lived in this predominantly Jewish neighborhood, a settlement in East Jerusalem, for more than 14 years. But to those who say this is a sign that their son may indeed have been a spy, they totally deny it. And they say they moved here simply for the cheaper rents. His father says he will not watch the video of his son's death, but was clear in his condemnation of Islamic State and his desire for revenge. <laughs> It's all Islamic State fabrication, he tells me. They are just trying to protect themselves. If Mohammed had come back, he would tell people what they are really like. I hope to God there will be an Arab army that come together and fight Islamic State. I'd be the first one to join the fight against Baghdadi. There has been no official response from Israel regarding Islamic State's accusations. But last month, a security official told the Reuters news agency they were certain Masalem went to Syria on his own initiative. The family believe he was killed simply because he had resolved to leave the group. His death, Islamic State's punishment for him wanting to go home. Tom Rayner, Sky News, Jerusalem.